think one thing I say, I write sometimes about is, I think some people believe that the final goal of AI is having nice chatbots uh, that look like humans. I don't think that's the final goal. I think the final goal is really automating, right? It's full automation. So automating jobs, uh, both physical and not, that uh, today humans do. And the world of full automation, I think it's fair to say we're still uh, early on in that journey. If one is to believe that uh, AI is going to evolve exponentially, uh, not linearly, or we're going to plateau. So if one were to be a very uh, bullish, very bullish on AI, I would say there may be a case to make about using even leveraged ETFs and lever ATFs on uh, semiconductors, right? So I mentioned that the uh, first phase of AI is really about semiconductors and about the picks and shovels. I mean, you could think, oh, well, that also has already happened uh, because Nvidia has grown about 40% KGAR for 10 years. So is there much more growth? For me, yes, there is much more. <laughs> I think it's kind of a safe bet in that sense because as we go through the various stages of AI and their applications, I think we're going to see increased demand for semiconductors. So that's why one, I think, good idea for investors that are, of course, bullish on the space uh, is to be exposed to semiconductors ETFs. And uh, there could even be a case to be exposed to uh, leveraged ETFs.